I had a request some time ago to make a broccoli cheddar soup and I finally came up with a version that I enjoy. So if you're looking for a nice warming, comforting soup that's not going to eat up all of your bites and points, I have the perfect solution for you here. This is my version of broccoli cheddar soup. Delicious and warming and nice and thick. So if this is something that you're interested in, stick around because it's coming up next. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name's Roy. I'm a home cook and amateur baker, and I'm here on this channel sharing recipes that have helped me to lose over 125 pounds, whether those recipes are mine or someone else's. Now today is one of mine, but it came as a request from a subscriber, actually an embarrassing long time ago, um, but I've worked on it off and on and finally got it to where I wanted it. That's right, we are making broccoli cheddar soup. I kept trying to figure out how to make this and keep it as low in bites and points and calories as I could. So let us go over the ingredients. I have here the star of the show. Well, one of the stars of the show, it does have a co-star. This is a half pound head of broccoli florets and I have cut most of the bottom part off and then weighed it because I don't want too much of the stock in there. Some of it is fine, but I didn't want too much in there. So I did cut off like the big base that was holding it all together. But it comes to about a half a pound or three cups if you happen to be using the packaged kind, the ones that are pre-cut in the bag. I have here one medium carrot that I am going to grate. I have my grater here ready to go. I have here one and a half cups of chicken broth, a low sodium chicken broth, just so that way you can add whatever salt you need at the table. I prefer using low sodium chicken broth, but you use what you want to use. I have here some cooking spray, of course. And here I have one small onion that is finely diced. You want it fairly fine because you don't want big chunks of onion in your broccoli cheddar soup. So they're just small little pieces here, finely chopped. You don't have to get too crazy about the fineness of it, but you do want it in small bits. Now, if, like my friend Jennifer Lynn, you do not like onion, you may like shallot. I don't know if you've ever seen a shallot or used a shallot before. It's almost like a cross between an onion and garlic. In here, there are feels like there's three different cloves, big chunks, and you just dice it up the way you would the onion. It's a much milder flavor of onion. You could also use green onion if you want. Here I have the other star of the show. I have a can of Frito's Mild Cheddar Cheese Dip. This is what I've used before in my mac and cheese steak. And if you have not seen that, it is one of my friend Bree's favorite dishes. I will card that up here. That is definitely a go-to around here, and I know at Bree's house. But you need one can of this to replace the cheese that you would have melted. But we're not going to get the real thickness that you would from a cheese that you've melted into the soup. So I have here one tablespoon of cornstarch. That's just going to be put in at the end to help thicken it slightly. It's not going to get really thick. We had just gotten some broccoli cheese soup about a week ago. I think it was from Panera, maybe. I don't remember exactly, but it was like really thick. It was like wallpaper paste thick. You don't want it that thick, but I did want it a little thicker. And Paul, my partner, Paul, preferred it a little thicker as well. So just one tablespoon of cornstarch. Here I have an empty bowl because we are going to be making a cornstarch slurry and that's where you add cornstarch to cold water. You want to make sure it's cold because once the cornstarch hits something hot or even warm, it does start to clump, which would make it very difficult to incorporate into the soup. So we're going to get some cold water just when we need it and mix in our cornstarch to make a slurry. 
I have here two teaspoons of minced garlic. That is about two cloves if you prefer to mince it yourself or you could even grate it. I have here one half teaspoon of salt, one quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Now the nutmeg may seem like an odd ingredient, but it really does enhance that cheesiness and really boosts the flavor of this soup. You could do without it if you had to, but I really do think it enhances the overall flavor of the soup. So I'm gonna cut up my broccoli florets into bite-sized pieces. I like mine fairly small for this soup, and I'll show you that in a second. Let me just clear up a few things, and I will show you how I prepare my broccoli. Okay, so for the broccoli, and honestly, this is the hardest part of this recipe, is just taking the time to cut this up into bite-sized pieces. Otherwise, it comes together really quickly. So if you're in need of a soup, suddenly, say you have someone coming over for a lunch or what have you, this comes together, I would say, within a half an hour. So to prepare the broccoli, I'm going to take any of the small florets and I'm going to just cut them into quarters. And what I'm going to do, because they do have a little bit of a stem on here, is I'm going to slice that. I'm still gonna put it in, but I wanna slice it up, and that will break up the broccoli floret a little bit more as we do it. There we have it. This is the size that I like them, nice and small. You could leave them a little bigger if you prefer, but I like when the broccoli is broken up a little bit more. So any of these larger pieces, what I'm going to do is cut off the stem and then I'm going to quarter that, or actually this one I'll do in six because it's kind of wide, and basically just cut these into little bits. You do want the stalks kind of smaller than the florets because those will take a little longer to cook. This floret is fairly small, so I think I'm gonna cut it in half, then cut the stem, and then cut it into quarters. But that's what I mean by being tedious is I'm making fairly small bits of this broccoli. So let me get this all finished up and we will move on. Okay, so I have my broccoli all prepared. As I said, I like mine kind of small, but you could obviously do it a little larger than that if you'd like. I just prefer having the small bits, as I said, and I did grate my carrot, and you can see just little slivers. And you could, if you wanted, um, use the matchstick um, carrots that you can get in the grocery store. However, I will warn you that they won't cook down as much, and they'll be a little more textured than this will. You don't even notice the grated carrot in there. So I really recommend doing that. Also, those matchstick carrots have a coating on them, which doesn't allow them to really soften up as much as I would prefer. But you can use those, and I would probably chop them up a little bit finer. I have my pan heated up over medium-high heat. I'm going to spray that with some cooking spray and add in the onions. Now, these are going to saute for just about four minutes until they've softened up a little bit. Okay, so our onions have softened up a bit and gotten a bit of color. I'm going to now add in our two teaspoons of garlic and just stir that through just to get it fragrant and to take some of that sharp edge off of the garlic. Okay, and that just took about a minute. Now what we're going to do is add on our broccoli, our carrots, our salt, our pepper, and our nutmeg. And then we're going to stir this through. And now we're just going to cook the broccoli for just about three minutes, just to let it soften up a little bit. You can already smell that nutmeg warming up in there. All right, so give me three minutes, and we'll move on. Okay, so that's been about three minutes. I don't know if you can see with all this steam coming up, but the broccoli has softened nicely just a little bit. It's still gonna cook a little bit longer in the chicken broth, which is the next thing we're gonna add is a one and a half cup. 
he wanted that to come up to a boil and it didn't take very long so it's now boiling what we're going to do is turn this down to medium low and we're just going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes let that broccoli really soften up and those carrots as well even though they're pretty soft being grated but we're going to let this sit and then we will move on okay so this has been simmering about 15 minutes so now what we're going to do is add in our cheese dip we're going to add in the whole can and stir that through and we're getting that nice cheesy color going on now and see where the liquid looked a little too little before now with the cheese added in it's just perfect this is going to heat up for about two minutes so while that's happening i'm going to get some cold water and stir together my cornstarch slurry so there's the water just going to add the cornstarch to it and stir that through so that it disperses throughout the cold water and if you had to let this sit for too long you would want to stir it up again because the cornstarch can settle to the bottom okay so we've given the cheese a chance to warm up and spread throughout the soup so what i'm going to do is stir this up add that in and stir this through now what we're going to do is we're going to have to let this cook for about three four minutes just for it to do its job and thicken up our soup so three or four minutes and we're done so i'll be right back okay so it's been about three or four minutes and i don't know if you can tell the difference but it has thickened up a little bit in here and it is looking delicious nice and thick gonna turn that off now what you would do is taste it which i did for seasoning and just adjust if you need to but i don't need to the cheese already has a bit of salt in it so that's why i didn't put too much salt in there but the seasoning is great the consistency is great and i can't wait to have some but first we have to go over those nutrition facts now this will make four servings the way i have it set up and they will come out to about three quarters of a cup each you could make it six servings if you wanted and then it would just reduce the bite or point by one but nice thick creamy soup delicious and definitely satisfying in these cool weather months now if you're going to leave it at four servings as i have it here and as i have it in the recipe this would be only three better balanced bites or old blue points i'm on the healthy better balance plan which is equivalent to the old ww blue plan which i guess is kind of back at ww now they're doing the free points blue plan kind of thing so i think i should be in sync with what they're doing again so three better balanced bites or blue points for that now if you did reduce it to just a half cup serving and make this serving six say you're having a sandwich with it each of those bites or points would go down to two so it's your call how you serve it now if you're following calories one serving of this doing it as four would be 154 calories and if you're following macros the fat would be 7.3 grams the carbs would be 19.7 grams the fiber would be 4.5 grams and the protein would be 4.6 grams again serving four as i prepared it here but there you have it a delicious broccoli cheddar soup that will not eat up all of your bites points or calories for the day now this recipe of course is going to be on my blog and i will link directly to this recipe down below as well as to the blog itself and also down there in the description box you can find my amazon storefront if i've used anything on this channel that you're looking for it may be there also my built bar rewards my fetch rewards which is a shopping app that when you scan your receipts 
you get credit and end up getting gift cards and things like that. But that is down there as well. And also my social media, both my Instagram and two Facebook groups that I'm part of. So go check out that description box for all sorts of information. And if you wouldn't mind doing the usual like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit the notification bell. I do have a collab that is coming up on Sunday that was started by Jay over at Average Jay, and it's for what he's calling Nutvember. So all of the recipes that are shared in that collab will have nuts to some degree or another. Mine won't have a lot of nuts, but they will have nuts and you can actually do without them if you really want to. But that is coming up on Sunday, so make sure you hit the notification bell for the next time any of those kinds of videos come up. December, we have another collab coming up that's going to be mine. I've mentioned it before. We're doing a cookie swap. So look forward to that. I've also decided, and you can let me know in the comments if you think this is a good or a bad idea, because I am calling my collab December cookie swap instead of December, December. I think I'm gonna do the whole month dessert or sweets of some kind, because a lot of channels are going to be doing main dishes, side dishes, things like that. And I did all of that last year. So I figured one of the hardest things for us to find when we go to gatherings or whatnot during the holidays is something sweet that's gonna satisfy that sweet tooth. So I think I'm going to be doing sweets all of December. So let me know if you think that's a good idea or not. Hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted whenever I upload anything. But I guess it's time for us to go and have some nice warming soup. So until next time, bye.